in my last video where I talked about why you should create an ebook and what you should do instead of selling your ebook online, someone posted a comment asking how to create a landing page that actually lets people sign up for their ebook. So how to create and customize a landing page for free using ConvertKit is exactly what we're gonna be talking about on today. So whether you're an author, entrepreneur, or content creator, be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to show you how I created this landing page so you can do the same and start growing your audience and building your email list. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Latoya Nicole and I help entrepreneurs just like you make money online. And like I said, today we're going to be creating a landing page. But first, what is a landing page? A landing page is the page where someone lands after clicking a link in an email, an ad, or on social media. Most people have websites. So when you think of a website, that's like the home where everything that you sell can live in one place. Whereas a landing page usually has one specific goal known as a call to action. So our goal is gonna be to collect email addresses and deliver a freebie. By offering a freebie, such as a page from your coloring book, a guide, or even a worksheet, you get a chance to build an email list, which is very important when growing your community or growing your author business. So now let's go ahead and jump into my computer so we can get into creating your landing page. First things first, if you don't already have a convert kit account, Account, you could click on the first link in my description and sign up. They offer a free account for up to 10,000 subscribers, which is a game changer when you're getting started. Once you signed up, log into your dashboard. Now let's create our landing page. Okay, so once you're inside of ConvertKit, after you've clicked on the link in my description to get started, you'll click under the grow tab and then you'll see where it says landing pages and forms and then you would click on create new and then you'll see a section that says form and a section that says landing page under landing page it gives you a brief description capture email addresses with a landing page hosted by convertkit or on your own domain so we're going to click on landing page and then this brings you to the template section where it's going to list all of the templates and you can just go through and see what type of style you like. On the left side, you can filter by category. So I had it on all templates, but you can click on newsletter templates so you can see specific ones that were created for newsletters. If you're looking for a coming soon page, you can click on wait list and get some ideas for that. They even have an ebook one. Let's take a look and see which ones they have for ebook. I'm gonna go back to all templates. I think I'm gonna use um, Cypress. Let's preview it and see. But let's go ahead and customize this one. Once you decide what template you want, you would just click on choose so that you can go ahead and start customizing that specific template. Now, one of the first things I like to do is go ahead and rename my template. I'll just name this ebook template. All right, so after you give the page a name, basically anything that you want to customize, you would just click on that section. If you wanted to customize this, you just click on this section, start typing, right? If you wanna customize this, click on this section. You can even customize the buttons, which we'll get to but everything on the page that's clickable, you can customize it. So for this, let's call it five steps to creating an ebook. And then here, let's go ahead and do how to create a simple freebie in 10 minutes or less. I'm gonna put free, free guide. Where it has email address, we can keep that, but I also want to add names. So I just click the plus button and then tap on this field. And then on the right side of the page, you'll see where it says custom field. And it has some other things that you can do as well as far as change the font color and things like that. For this, I'm just gonna be changing the field name. So under custom field, I'm gonna click on the drop down where it says first name. And then that's gonna add the section so that when someone comes to complete this form, they'll fill in their name, their first name and their email address. And then we're just gonna move this up here so that once they type in their first name, then they'll have to just include their email address. And then where it says sign up today, I'm gonna customize this to say, yes girl, sign me up. And then you can change the button colors to whatever your brand colors are. If you use Canva, like I always suggest for any of your designing, the way you would be able to find specific colors is by coming into a document that has your brand colors in it and then clicking on that color and then going to the color that circled, tap on it, and then you can copy. And then once you paste that code, 
you see it'll turn to that color so let's make the butt in um do i want to make it green let's see what it looks like green i'll bring that paste it in and then that gives you a green button if you don't have any specific colors that you're going for you can always just play with this by um just going through the color scheme and seeing which one stands out to you or which one you like i think i'm gonna stick with the green for now and then where the image is of course you'll want to replace that to upload your own image you can either upload an image of yourself or after you've created your ebook you can always upload an image of the cover of the ebook and so if you wanted to do the cover of the ebook from canva you would just save that as a png file and then come here click on um current page so that you're just downloading this one page and then you'll go ahead and hit done to download that and so this is what it would look like if you use that cover image but i'm gonna go ahead and just replace it so that the full image is just my photo and then if you wanted to edit the image like if you wanted to rotate it or if you wanted to flip it if you needed to change any of the settings or anything like that this is where you would come to do that one more thing is you can change the font so for this if you wanted to make this part bold you can click on it and you can either go here to make it bold or once you highlight it you can click here and it will make it bold you can underline it italicize you can even add links if you want to um, you can center it so that you're giving it your look and feel and then we have this blue color behind us this is the background color so we can either leave the background a plain color like it is or you can also upload an image here for your background Play with the color a little bit so you can make it pop and add you a bright color or you can keep it simple and make the background black which i think that's what i'm going to do and then after it looks the way you want it to look you can go ahead and click on the save button so once we have our landing page completed the next thing you can do is click on add a page if you want to add a customized thank you page i actually skipped this step but if you wanted to include it then you would just follow the same steps that you did prior to and go ahead and um, customize it so i'm just putting all set thank you for signing up you can customize this part and of course you can add your image by clicking on the image section and then you would just choose an image and i'm just going to go ahead and delete that for the purposes of this tutorial and so the last thing you would do is click on settings this is the part that you're going to be setting up so that after someone signs up for your email list the page knows where to take them next the options that you have are when a visitor subscribes to the page you can show a success message or you can redirect to an external page we're going to click on show success message and then you can um, customize this message make sure you're clicking on save for everything you're updating all right and so the next thing we're going to do is click on incentive after they get the success message once they sign up that says you know congratulations all set check your email in a few minutes then we're going to send an incentive email so what we're going to do is click on edit email contents so this is the standard message so the subject line says important confirm your subscription and then in the body the text says thanks for signing up click the link below to confirm your subscription and you'll be on your way and then you have the subscription tab and then um it's good to have you so we're going to put something like welcome here is your free guide and then we can leave thanks for signing up and then let's say download your guide we're not going to do anything where it says url but you can choose to change your button background color you can change the size of the button and all that stuff down here then you can click on save the last thing we're going to do is fill out this section because after they click on that confirm button that we just finished customizing this is going to bring them directly to the download so for this part i use google drive i go ahead and copy my link because this is the guide that i want them to be redirected to so i'll insert that link here and then i'll go ahead and save it save it here I want to preview it just so i can see what the page looks like and if you're happy with it you can go ahead and click on publish this will give you the link so if you had a youtube channel or if you were on instagram or social media 
this is the link that you will be able to include in your bio so that they will go directly to this page. And so yeah, that's how you would set up your landing page. And that's it. You've created and customized a landing page using ConvertKit for free. If this was helpful, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel so that I know to keep putting out more content like this. And let me know what's one thing you'd like to offer as a freebie on your landing page. If you need some ideas creating your freebie, make sure you go ahead and download my free guide, Five Ways to get started creating an ebook. And if you wanna know why you should create an ebook as a freebie, then watch this video next. Until next time, bye-bye.